right back to getting getting the kids in school and playing hockey, so no time for vacation yet. <laughs> Take your questions. Yeah, um, actually, I'm pretty happy with what I didn't. I did as well as I did, <laughs> as far as the the tears and everything. Um, yeah, because I could have been up there crying the whole night. <laughs> what does it mean to you to be the first Sharks player to get the number retired? I mean, this is a long franchise, and you're the first. Yeah, it's uh, just an unbelievable honor to have um, this whole. Week's been unbelievable. Unbelievable. The Sharks organization, um, the the amount of time and effort it's taken for guys like Scotty Emmert and Tommy Holy and uh, my wife to put it all together and uh, Rosemary. Like it's uh, from top to bottom, it's been unbelievable. Patrick, um, you mentioned that you grew with San Jose. So how impressive has it been to see the Silicon Valley has become one of the best? technology areas in the world and mm -hmm. see the team grow and actually go to the final. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I'm so happy to be part of that, uh, that story, to be part of the, the evolution of, of the hockey in, in the, in the Bay Area and, uh, obviously the, you know, being a tech center of the world, it doesn't, uh, doesn't hurt either having, uh, having the sponsors and having, uh, their support, uh, helps the organization, helps the Bay Area for sure. Patrick, speaking with the other uh, players who had their jerseys retired, they talked about um, kind of their career kind of flashing before their eyes, some of the big moments. It all kind of comes together in this moment. Is that, was that your experience too? Yeah, it was definitely the experience. I've just been looking back, uh, seeing all the, the teammates that come back and played at the alumni game last night. And, you know, when you see their faces and you get talking, uh, the stories just and the memories keep flooding back. And, um, so uh, so grateful and thankful that uh, you know people took time out of their busy schedules to, to be here and help celebrate uh, the ceremony tonight. Andrew, I'd like to encourage you to come full circle with this retirement ceremony. When are you going to be able to kind of reflect on how this looks sink Yeah, um, I'm sure it's going to happen pretty quick here. I think uh, you know there's a big lead up to, to tonight. And now it's. Uh, uh, you know, the, you know the, the nerves were for the speech and everything like that. So now that I got that over, I'm going to enjoy it a little bit more and, uh, and take it all in. But I've been trying to do that all weekend. So it's, it's been, like I said, it's been great. And then skating with your old teammates last night, like, to, 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 is that kind of the itch to want to get back up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, that was probably some of the you know, most fun I've had out on the ice, having my boys out there with me. And um, it's kind of fitting that... Uh, you know, Gordy Howe got to play with his boys, so I, I was able able to play with my boys at uh, you know alumni game. But uh, still, it, it meant a lot to me, and, and it meant a lot to my family. Patrick, speaking of your boys, how much did it mean to you to have your boys witness and have memories of some of your Sharks' career? I, that was one of the things I hoped for. Uh, you know, when they were born, that I could play long enough that they could uh, actually watch the games, but uh, understand the whole the, what Dad did for a living. And I think. Uh, with this weekend tonight, even and in, in, in years prior, they they got a good idea what what I did, and they're a big big part of it. Patrick, when you were watching your jersey go up in the air, what was going through your mind, and how did you feel about experiencing that with your family? Um, it was just it was surreal. I think having just kind of it, it just flashes before your eyes, like everything I did led up to that moment, and. Um, it was just so appreciative that that it that it went so well that I had the career that I had had I had the support I had um, and yeah it just all flashed before you but all that hard work finally you know it paid off for you know be able to to be the the first to have the jersey retired in San Jose Sharks history so um, very very thankful. Patrick, uh, Marcus Stern, when you were roommates for a while. He was saying how you were always serious. So did you always have this long-term kind of vision to, to try your best to be the best in hockey? I, yeah, I always wanted, I've always wanted to, to be on the ice playing, no matter what. Um, it's probably why I didn't get a lot of penalty minutes. I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be sit, <laughs> I didn't want to be sitting in there when I could be out on the ice playing. So, um, yeah, I, I knew right from a very young age that I wanted to do play hockey. 
and I wanted to do it for as long as I could. So, and that meant having to, you know, go that little extra mile in the off season or during the season, do a little extra work here and there. I was more than willing to to put in that work, and um, so I could so I could keep playing and and be be around the guys and be in, in the NHL, be around the Sharks organization. Now, does that also put a lot of pressure on your boys to see dad achieve such a high milestone and? And you got to be harder than I assume. That's your nature, right? Uh, I, I assume it would be, and I, uh, I, know I talk to them about that. I, f- I feel for them. I think there's, uh, there's sometimes it can, it can be hard for them, but uh, I keep trying to tell them that uh, every everybody's path and everybody's journey is a little bit different. So I don't put any pressure on them to have the same journey that I did. But uh, um, I'm just going to be there for them and support them the best I can. And um, you know, they're, they're good boys, and I hope they're going to. Do well in this, in in life, and in maybe in, maybe even in hockey. Take two more. So, since you had the joy of playing with your sons on the ice, you have a message for LeBron who wants to play with his son. I mean, do it if you can. That that'd be the the best advice I could give. Um, it's it's something special, and uh, I think very few people have been able to do it. And if you can do it, all the power to him. Jordan, and I'm sure you guys are always joking on. Is he always threatening you? He's gonna go up one more, <laughs> or are you gonna convince him to retire? Oh, uh, oh, I'll never convince anybody to retire. Play as long as he can. Yeah. 